Welcome to this QuickBooks Online tutorial for beginners 2019 on how and why to create delayed charges in QuickBooks Online. So if you're not familiar with delayed charges in QuickBooks Online, this is a great feature uh, that uh, is in QuickBooks Online but is not in QuickBooks Desktop, okay? So this is going to be something that you're going to use if you uh, have some charges maybe throughout the week or throughout the month. Uh, or any time period where you have these charges, you need to uh, charge to a customer, but you're not going to bill it until the end of the month. So this is a great way to keep track of these charges. So instead of, you know, sticky notes on your desk or, you know, other kind of notes where you have to keep track of what you're going to bill this customer, you can use delayed charges. So let me show you how this works. All right, so we're in this QuickBooks Online sample company file, and I'm gonna to go to the Quick Create menu, and you're gonna see these options down here, delayed credit, delayed charge. So in this video, we're gonna talk about delayed charges. So you're gonna click on this. All right, so it brings up this screen, and what we're gonna do is we're going to choose Amy's Bird Sanctuary, and we're going to choose, let's say that we had uh, gardening, weekly gardening service, and we had three hours, and we're gonna say that the rate is $50 an hour, so $150, all right? So then at this point, all you're gonna do is, you know, you can make this recurring, that if this is an automatic, you know, something you want to make recurring and be automatic to do this every single week for this customer, you can do that. Uh, or if it's gonna vary each week, you know, you might, might not want to make it recurring. You can just go in and enter these delayed charges. So in this case, we're going to say three and we're going to hit, I'm going to hit save and new. Okay. Because we're going to go back in and we're going to add another one. And we're going to say that this delayed charge date was maybe the next week. Okay. So again, weekly gardening service, three, fifty dollars 150. Okay. So now at this point, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit save and close. All right, so now what we've done is we've entered these and, it, and QuickBooks is just tracking this. This is not posting. It's not going into your records because we haven't yet invoiced it. So a really, really important step is uh, next, we need to go and invoice this customer. Okay, so I'm going to go to the Quick Create menu. I'm going to click Invoice and we are going to choose Amy's Bird Sanctuary. And you can see it shows up over here on the right side. Okay, so there's some billable time. This is not the delayed charge. This down here, this charge one, two, and three, these are the ones that we just entered. Okay, so we wanna add this, and then we want to add this. Now, if we were gonna also add this concrete and fountain installation, that is the delayed charge that was already in there, we can add this as well. And that one is taxable, so it's gonna add uh, $2 in sales tax to this concrete uh, for the fountain installation. So we have our total invoice at 327. Okay. So now we've taken these delayed charges. We have added them to the invoice. And at this point you're going to save and send, or, you know, you print it, whatever the case may be. Okay. So that's the basics on delayed charges. This can be a very, very handy, uh, time saving feature in QuickBooks online that, that really helps you keep track of things. So you can invoice your, your customers correctly. And especially when you're out, out and about and using the app, uh, you can enter this information. Then at the end of the week, end of the month, when you do your invoices, it's all going to be in there for you. Any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment below. Also, head over to the QuickBooks University. Got uh, probably the best training tutorials over there, plus personal support when you become a member. So head over there now, qbuniversity.org.